Maple, he joins us now with State Representative Ron Alting. Yes, uh, State Senator, thank you for being here with us today. So we were talking earlier uh, this afternoon much. that uh, you were born and raised in Lafayette. That means a lot, you know, community probably runs deep through your blood. Well, it does, and this is a great event. I'm just asking all the residents of Tippecanoe County and beyond in your viewing uh, audience to make a donation no matter how small it is that it would greatly be appreciated think about it first responders uh, this is for modernization is equipment technology changes every day to make them safe but also equally as important uh, to make us safe to save a life whether it be your life in the future that a first responder is needed uh, or myself uh, to think about what they go through to be the first on the scene, uh, the trauma that that could be, uh, is just amazing. And we're so thankful that our first responders here in Tippecanoe County uh, do a fantastic job. And we want to make sure that they're equipped with the modern equipment today to even uh, do a better job in protecting them and protecting the citizens of Tippecanoe County. It's very important. And the big thing, uh, Senator, that uh, we've been talking about all morning is that this bridges the gap between uh, what they have uh, financial-wise monthly uh, or yearly, that is. Mm -hmm. And uh, so with this Hero Fund, that really helps bridge that gap to if they need something else and stuff it, like that. It does. And, and as we all know, uh, technology changes day to day. And so does uh, the equipment that we're looking at purchasing for uh, these first responders. So you can even do a budget, which we do every two years from the state level. Uh, and then it could be not enough because in two years the price of technology goes up so much that they need that extra kick. And that's what we're here uh, for today is to raise that extra money to fill that gap between state and local uh, funding. And, and make a difference in our community. So if you really want uh, to make a difference, uh, I'm asking you to please make a donation today to help these men and women who put their life on the line every single call uh, for you and I. State Senator, thank you very much for joining us today. It's always very helpful and very great talking with you. So we're going to go ahead and go